In this video, we'll show you how to incorporate Cinema Machine into Bolt. This video is brought to you by the Astro Galaxy Game Room Project and Course, a tutorial series filled with hours of content and professionally developed 3D models, textures, and 2D sprites. In this course, we will not only take you step by step through things such as creating game systems and mechanics, but also how to use and master lighting and rendering in Unity's various render pipelines. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today. To begin, we'll need to first add Cinema Machine using the Project Manager. Something to note, depending on which version of Unity you're currently using, some versions of Cinema Machine may not work in your project. In cases like this, we can either upgrade our project to a more recent version of Unity, or we can simply choose an earlier version of Cinema Machine. With our Cinema Machine package now downloaded and installed into our project, to begin, go to Tools, Bolt, Unit Option Wizard. In the Option Wizard, under Assembly Items, we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom, then click the plus button. We then want to find and add Cinema Machine. With this complete, let's click on the next button to go to our type options. At the bottom of our type option row, we want to now find and add lens settings. For our final step, we'll hit generate in order to allow Bolt to incorporate Cinema Machine into our graphs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to be the first to see this and many other tutorials, game development tips, interviews, and free game asset giveaways. To instantly gain access to hours of high quality tutorials, professional level game assets, and much, much more, click the link in the description and begin your journey to creating the next great game today.